<laughs> Brothers and sisters, the other day, some of y'all remember this 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 delusional young sister came to me real nasty. Y'all remember the title she had up. And also, y'all know she took the video down so people can't go watch the original video in its entirety. I guess she got pissed off because I didn't respond the way she wanted me to respond. Now, in this video, she tells me, she tells us that if I make a response to it, she's going to keep making a response video. That's what she want. Now, that being said, you young. And with youth comes stupidity. In your case, self-hatred and stupidity. You took what I've said and misquoted a lot of things I've said. First of all, let's get something straight. Catherine children have not brainwashed. Catherine got her own mind. The, and see, tell you, you don't, you don't have enough experience there. You're, you're, you're not well versed. Anytime the state comes in, Department of Ch Children and Family Services come in, they have a case manager. That case manager do some, some do scheduled visits and unannounced visits. Everybody that lives in the home who has contact is on a list. They had to do a background check, meaning a FBI police check, okay? Now, if the state of California thought that Catherine was a bad guardian, they would have been took her, her children, her grandchildren away from her. If they thought that the Jackson siblings were hovering around too much, they would have took those kids away. Now, you sit here and say Michael Jackson, brothers and sisters of vultures. When Michael was first accused of child molestation, it was Michael's siblings, except Latoya, except Latoya that defended their brother. It was Michael's father, Michael's mother out there defending their brother. Now, let me go back to the 70s. Um, let, me, now let me go back into the 60s. When the Jacksons were discovered, Motown president and founder Barry Gordy said he didn't want to have any kid groups. Okay, But when they realized that the Jacksons could perform, not just Michael, the whole family. The whole family. They said, oh, we can make some money off this. But Barry said, we need the, a hook. Okay, push Michael out there. Let's say Michael, instead of him being 10 or 11, let's say he's 9 years old. Okay? When the cameras go to Michael, put the cameras on Michael. Barry Gorey had a thing about picking one person out of the group to be the voice and face of the group. If you go through all through Motown groups, it's that one person that stood, that stood out. Now, the lie was going around that Diana Ross um, discovered um, um, uh, the Jacksons when it wasn't. It was another brother. It was uh, another brother that discovered uh, the Jacksons. And, and I forgot about the I forget the brother's name. But there was a sister that took the Jacksons. I can't, was it Kim West? I can't one of them. One of those sing singers took it to Barry Gordy. But because Diana Ross was, was messing with Barry Gordy at that time, that's just how the story went. Now, if y'all going to blame Joe and Catherine about Michael Jackson not having a childhood, you need to blame, blame Barry Gordy, Smokey Robinson, because Smokey became um, vice president of the company when he left um, the Miracles. Remember, Barry was trying to move Motown to California because they wanted to take it to Hollywood. That's why they did Mahogany and The Wiz and um, Lady Sing the Blues and all the other stuff, okay? At some point, the Jacksons found a flavor with their fans, like most music fans, and move on to the next thing. They wanted to grow up. So Joe and the boys all thought, except Michael and Jermaine, because Jermaine was married to Barry Gordy's daughter, Hazel. So he felt he had to be loyal. Cos, his, his wife, was her father. They all went to uh, Philly International, and they don't talk about that, that too much. It was with uh, Gamble Huff, you know, that song, Let Me Show You, all that stuff. That was dumb. Then they went over to CBS Epic. But Mike was getting an itch because, you know, he was believing his hype because his voice changed and Michael could sing and do things. And, you know, the brothers, some of the brothers wanted to do other things. They wanted to do different music. But Mike, for ever since he was a little kid, he was told that he was the shit. So when he did Off the Wall and made a lot of money, they figured, I can do this. You got people like Quincy Jones, uh, was it Roger? Well, not, I want to say, not Roger Timpton. The guy used to be with uh, Heat Wave, the white guy. He wrote, helped wrote some of the music that Michael had on um, Thriller. And when Thriller hit, 
there was no stopping Michael Jackson at that point. A lot of people forget that Michael still lived in the same home that his parents lived in when Thriller was going on. But like any other person that gets rich, they get they get they get hangers on, they get fans, they get sick of fans. They come along and say, "Oh, Michael, you're the greatest thing." First, it was uh, Tatum O'Neal. No, let me go back. Stephanie Mills and Mike w was dating, but Tatum O'Neal brought her little fast, druggy ass on in there. And once, and I'm gonna tell you something: if you're a weak-minded person of color or a black person, how you want to describe yourself, and you got white folks starting to say, "Oh, you good, you great." Blah, 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 blah. Then Brooke Shields brought her ass in. Then you got Paul McCartney glitched this shit's ass on. See, you young, you say you're a Michael Jackson fan, but you don't remember all this. I remember this. This is going on real time. I remember when this stuff was going on. Everybody wanted to hang around Michael Jackson. You even had damn President Reagan and, and Nancy Reagan vomit to the White House. Remember Mike was he was still somewhat still hanging around Black. Remember Emmanuel Lewis? He used to hang around like, oh, you don't remember that, do you? See, you remember the Michael Jackson of the 90s. You remember the Michael Jackson that's been sanitized or the media accounts. And you, and you, and you like to pick and choose what part of the media accounts that you want to talk about. Mike, Mike couldn't do anything wrong at some point. But there were people already talking about he's making too much money. When he did We Are the World, Michael started to get more political. When he did that USA for Africa, him, Lionel Richie, uh, 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 Dan Aykroyd. Uh, 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 Paul Simon, uh, uh, Ray Charles, Tina Turner, Huey Lewis. I go on. That was like the biggest thing in 1985. But anytime a black person, especially a black man, gets too rich, he got enemies lining up. Michael bought the Beatles catalog. Paul McCartney, at that time, Paul McCartney thought, I'm going to go and be friends with Michael Jackson, you know. I'm I'm a, I'm a Beatle, but you know I don't have enough money to go buy my own catalog back. Well, because John Lennon was dead, George Harrison, Ringo Starr, they all was on wasn't all speaking, so it was only three at that time three members left. So Paul went to Michael, and even Paul McCartney said it was joking, and Paul McCartney does in a mocking 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 tone says Michael did he ain't talked about it lately because he know eventually gonna get the, your catalog back. He said, wouldn't it be a, nice if you'd be a friend if you go buy the catalog from me? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'd do that. You, you should buy it yourself. Michael went and bought the Beatles catalog. He thought Paul McCartney thought Mike was going to turn around and sell it. Michael was a businessman. Michael wasn't dumb. Michael bought a lot. He bought catalogs from, from black artists that were screwed over. If I'm not mistaken, he had bought Little Richard's catalog, if I remember correctly, and turned around and sold it back to Little Richard for a dollar. Little Richard... Chuck Berry, those are architects of rock and roll, not Elvis Presley and them. But by then, Michael, when he started doing that shit, he pissed a lot of people off. And some of those people, you need to go do your research on and who they, what they, what their religious belief and their political beliefs are. And Michael will start after a while. That Villa Ligo started making the skin lighter and lighter. But by doing that, Michael's chopping his face up. We can't not deny Michael had self hate issues. Michael started associating himself with more and more white people, more and more um, Arab, more and more Hindu, more and more Jewish. And slowly but surely, Michael changed his, his, his demeanor. Even his music started to change. That, 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 you know, that, that, how can I put this? The R&B flavor was going out. It was becoming very popular. A rock, you know, he had a look rock pop sound going on. And when Mike would then when that when that first allegation was starting, you know, you had rumors. People said, "Why does a grown man picking up on these kids?" Even when I was a kid, I thought it was weird to see a grown man picking up on somebody else's kids. I even thought it was weird to see a grown man hanging around a bunch of kids. But but everybody, Michael put at that Peter Pan thing, and everybody let it be because Michael was making money. When Bat didn't make the money, Thriller made. Everybody said, "Oh, he's losing it." What happened? First charge came out. There was stuff out there that stated that Michael Jackson was innocent, but people wanted to take this black man down. Who was there with Michael Jackson? His father, the one that he'd been lying in the media, his mother, Catherine, and his siblings. The only one that didn't stand by Mike was, Je I mean, LaToya. Okay? 
And I and I and if anybody has an ulterior motive, I would have said Latoya. But knowing that she was married to somebody outside the community, and you can't say that family does not have issues with with color. Okay, Mike got run, run thrown under the bus. Mike did something that most black people do when they get in trouble with with others. They run back to the community. That's when he did that. Remember the times and um. He was all his doing jam and what's that something about you? Baby? What's her name? Iman, not Iman. What's her name? Naomi Campbell. Remember that? Remember that album? All of a sudden he went black. Remember he went on Soul Train. Remember he sprung his ankle, couldn't perform. He had to sit in the chair. Remember he was doing interviews. He was going to our Senate Hall. No, you don't remember because you're young. But when, when it, but when, but blacks was buying his stuff and oh Michael back I remember because Michael came to Chicago Michael shot the video jam right down the street from the high school I went to. But see a lot of y'all in your age and you're young and I, I, you're young and dumb. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna insult you just like you insulted me because sister I didn't I didn't call you out your name. But since you want to make like you the like you the victim and shit let me let me let me break it down to you. Everything that's not on the internet or everything that's on the internet, take it with a grain of salt. People edit shit. People only put select clips up. Everything is on TV. They got writers. They got producers. Trust me on this. I know this all well. I'm not going to tell you how I know it, but I'm telling you. It's some things that I'm, I'm very aware of. And you question my intelligence. Now, look. You pissed off at me because I caught yourself hating. And I wasn't the only one that called you self-hating. Now I could have called you any other name. I could have I could have called you a sambo. I could have called you a coon. Could have called you a handkerchief head. That's what you are. But I said self-hating. Try to be nice to you. You paid up a video, insulted not just me, but the black community at large, and you did it in this video as well. You sent me messages after the video. I left it alone. I didn't, I could have made a response video saying, "Yo, man, we got another sister out here. Want to keep shit going?" And you young. That's what. That's that's the shit. That's why I stayed off your ass. But you old enough to know better. You pissed off because I pointed out because you have self hate issues that you and then you have another nerve to turn around and call me racist. Do you know what racism mean? Do you understand that blacks cannot be racist? If anything, we could be prejudiced. Blacks don't have that power to be racist. But, be, but since you've been brought up knowing knowing everything about the Jacksons, let me break it down. You remember them shows like Hard Copy, Current Affair? No, you don't remember those shows, do you? You remember how the talk shows back in the days to mock Michael Jackson and do all kinds of stories about him? Because once you get accused by a white person of doing something, you're guilty. It was the black community was there still stood by Michael. But after a while, Michael kept doing crazy and crazier things. And we can't deny giving interviews or siding with people they shouldn't have been around. So the black community stood back, just like we stood back for O.J. Simpson and the other black person. You sit here and say, brother and sister, why the hell y'all keep hanging around these people? And they do nothing but, but give y'all the middle finger. Then what did he do? He runs out. He go start dating um uh uh, uh 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 what's his name what's her name Lisa Marie Press they get married I'm like damn Mike don't you hang out with anybody's black I'm, and I'm sitting here then he gets on TV they would they didn't think it would last he kiss he kiss her a lot of stuff Mike did just didn't come across natural I mean don't get me wrong I enjoy the man's music his performances but the brother was messed up in the head and we cannot deny it. Then of all people you mess with, you mess with your dermatologist secretary. If you go have my babies, I give you such such amount of money. People say he put no mask on his kids because he don't want nobody to know they are. Go back and look at the pictures. That baby had blonde hair. Blonde hair, sister. I guess you forget that when they, those kids' hair was blonde. Remember, remember Prince Michael's hair was super blonde? He didn't want nobody to see those kids' faces because he didn't want nobody to sit there and say, those are not my kids. Let me, let me break something else down to you. Whether his kids or not, I understand that. But let's be, but we need to understand something. Blood means a lot. And then sometimes it don't. But usually it does. I can speak from personal experience. My parents are adopted parents when my mother was. She's not deceased. I love my siblings. I love them. But they, they are rude. My parents were adoptive parents. I know other families were adoptive parents and foster parents. 
kismet number headaches to them. I'm not saying all do. Let me let me let me clarify that. I don't want to make anybody think that being an adopted parent or foster parent is a bad thing. But these kids are brought up in this society where they tell your parents you can't discipline them, you can't punish them. Paris was wrong. Paris is 14 years old. Prince is 15 years old. They should not be on Twitter tweeting personal business. You make it like the Jacksons are doing some of those kids. And you talk about Michael said his brothers and sisters. Michael, I'm going to tell you something. Michael never publicly stated his brothers and sisters did anything. That was a lot of that was media stuff. Remember, this is the same media that swapping down that Marlon was working in a supermarket. I don't know if you ever watched that show, The Jackson. It was on A&E. Marlon's into real estate. They got their own money. Tito is a performer. Tito does uh, blues and jazz. Matter of fact, he just released a single. Jackie still makes music. Only one that really doesn't do anything musically is Reby. She did something back in the 90s. And they did a report the other night who all has money. They got money. See, you jumped to the conclusion because the white media said that said something. You believe. Now, these are, this is the same media that, that dogged Michael when he was alive. This this the same media that dogged Janet when Justin Timberfake ripped her, her blouse. They didn't go after Justin. They went after Janet. This is the same media that basically um, disrespected Jim, when, Jim, when Michael died and Joe Jackson, he's up in age. They asked him the dumbest questions he answered. You asked him a question, he answered. He was being honest. Well, why did his son die? Wait a minute, but y'all didn't care about Michael when he was alive. Now y'all want to say, well, Joe didn't care about him. And the media put that shit out. Maybe Derry Rose should get back in the children's life. This is the same woman that sold, sold her parental rights to Michael Jackson. But you know, but you, you remember all this, right, sister? See, you're young. You're one of them people that believe everything you see here on television. And you do have a color, you have a color issue. Why, why did you take that other video down? Because you don't want nobody to hear what you said. You don't want nobody, everybody, and I didn't tell anybody what to think. They went, everybody went red, red come, even the people that don't agree with me. On some of my videos came and read and left comments and you and you was nasty. Everything came out your mouth was fuck them, fuck this, fuck them. You took those videos down. So why did you take them down? Little girl, you do have a color color issues. Then you're gonna throw it back on me. No, I'm a black man that understand how the world how the world works. Michael did fuck up. Michael knew his mother was too old. And then this the same Michael that said something about Tommy Matola, Mariah Carey's ex husband. Man run ran Sony for a long time. And his name popped, pops up every now and then. Wait a minute. If you don't have any ties with Michael Jackson, what the hell you got to say anything about anything? Remember Sheryl Crow, who's a background singer? Nope, see, you don't remember this shit because you're too young. She was bad mouth of Michael when he was alive. And all of a sudden he died. Oh, with Michael. <laughs> Brooke Shields, where was she at all them years? She made comments about Michael Jackson. Madonna dissed Michael Jackson. Oprah Murphy dissed Michael Jackson. But you forget all that. You you forget you forget all those people that dissed him. Now you're gonna say the family's up to no good. I tell you, was up to no good when, when Michael wasn't even, was even dead a year. What did Oprah do? I want to interview Catherine and the children. Why? And even on Oprah's show, she was nasty to Joe. Joe never did nothing to Oprah. The media mocks. Now they saying, where's Joe Jackson at? Wait a minute. Y'all want Joe Jackson or you don't want Joe Jackson? Then you saying the kids are hovering over Catherine and Lindy. That's what people do. People give, give press conference. People get statements. Remember, that's their mother. Could that be infighting among the family members? Yeah. Because they know them two older kids are rude. They are very rude. I'm telling you, I've watched, I've watched those kids since Michael died. The little girl and them was putting videos out on YouTube. Little girl said she wanted to be an actress. All of them was putting videos out on YouTube. They wanted to be an actress. The brother wanted to be a producer. When that girl gets just my dick, that little phony ass cry she did. And I didn't say nothing. I said, maybe, you know. But if you go back and look at it, come on. 
Janet and Randy here, right now, tell us you need to stop tweeting our business because it's bad enough the media is gunning for us. They went, they, I mean, come on, think about it. The media in, has divided that family. And you got sycophant fans like you to think that, that oh, the big bad Jackson Simmons is doing this to Kathy. They brainwashed her. Kathy, a grown ass woman. It was even stated her doctor said that she needed to get away because she's an older woman. And you, you crack about the age. Okay, thank you for cracking about the age. Okay, she's not 79, she's 82. That's even worse. Tito's son should have never stuck his nose in the business. Let the courts come in and decide that. There's a lot of moving pieces up here, sister. And I'm, sitting, I'm telling you to step back and look, listen, and think about it all. But no, no, no. You got your mind made up. The big bad Jacksons. And everything you said in this video, like, you know, has it been an insult? Now, everybody commended me for not going hard because they said they knew I can go hard on people. I can go hard on people like you. I don't like black people that's helped themselves so much that they would defend other people. 14-year-old, 15-year-old kids should not be doing that. Maybe you wasn't taught to keep personal business even within the confines of the home. But, but a lot of black people out here agree with me. Even some white people agree. Yo, Paris is out of line. Prince Michael what is out of line. And you got to be a damn fool to think those are Michael Jackson kids. Them kids look just like Debbie Rowe and that dermatologist. Only one I might give credence to is Blanket because he got the fucking eyes. He looked like he could be a Jackson. But I could be wrong from that too. But see, you're young. See, I call, and, I'm, and I don't want to, I want to apologize to anybody I insulted when I said those born in the 80s and 90s. I want to, and I'm, I don't mean all, I want to apologize to y'all. But some of y'all born in the 80s and 90s are fucked up in the head. If it's not on the internet, it, it's not true. If it's no video, it's not true. A lot of stuff that y'all don't, don't see or hear is not going to be on the internet. But I stayed off you, sister. I moved on, but you kept sending me messages. I'm like, this look, this look, cunt. Okay. Then you made a veil reference to one of my, one of my, one of my YouTube uh, uh, subscribers and friends. Stay off her. Now you know, stay out. Leave, leave Gia alone. Don't fuck with her. You think you slick? Nah, you got hurt. You let you let these other Michael Jackson fans send your ass off. Michael Jackson had color issues. He hated himself. I give him the Villa Ligo, but Mike chopped his face up and Mike went out the head got white kids. He didn't get no black woman. He got white kids. It was okay for Michael to have black maids, black bodyguards, black cooks. When he came down his children, nope. Now y'all can try to put that shit on his siblings. You can try to put that on his father. If Michael's that fucking sensitive, then damn. Then, then what people said about him being feminine, then you had to start asking yourself about that too. Every one of us at some point have been, been cracked on, ragged on by somebody. But that don't make you want to go chop your face up. That don't make you want to want to, want to, want to, want to associate with somebody else. Michael wasn't even the ground yet. That Rabbi Shmuley came out. Deepak Chopra came out. Maureen Orff. Diane Diamond. Um, the guy that tried to send him to jail. A um, lot, lot of celebrities that was mocking him. Or was supposed to be close friends was spilling the beans, releasing tapes about Michael Jackson. None of his so-called black, the black people, no, I'm crazy. That, none of the black people that he that he alienated or kept at arms like, told any secret about Michael. They respected him. Matter of fact, it was the black fans that respected Michael. It was the state, it was Catherine in the state that wanted to put that ceremony on in California when some people even suggested that he should come back to Gary, Indiana, which I thought was laughable because Michael and his family had been gone from Gary, Indiana damn near 40 something years. But it was the black community defending. It was Bill O'Reilly, Sean Hannity, uh, Representative Peter King from New York. Rush Limbaugh, Glenn Beck, and all of them was cracking on just dis dis disparaging that man. But see, you're a fan. But you remember all that, right? No, you only go by what the media said. Give you, let, me give you, let me repeat this again. When Mike was alive till the day he died, the media hounded him and criticized him. 
when they finally got Michael to a point where he wasn't putting out any music or, or he was a recluse, they went after his little sister Jan. When Mike died and they realized that, oh, the, the, Mike, the Jackson family finna band together, the black community finna start pointing out shit, go get Debbie Rowe. Those kids are spoiled. What rich kids wouldn't be spoiled? You the children. Everybody, you're Michael Jackson children. You're father of this legacy. These kids are feeling themselves now. And looking at that video, and you saw the video what, what Paris did. Janet said, give me the phone. Because she was tweeting. And you're going to sit there and say, that's, the, that's normal? That's not normal. For good kids to disrespect adults. Do you make it like the Jackson family doing something or poor Catherine is weak in the mind? I'm telling you right now, they send people out to the home for announced or unannounced visits. But see, you want them sick, some sick of that Michael Jackson fans that he can, he can do anything wrong. Michael made poor choices, and we can't deny it. I'm a Michael Jackson fan, but I'm not going to defend the poor choices, man. And right now, he didn't fuck his, his legacy up. His brothers and sisters every right to question what they're doing with their mother. Michael did not want his kids giving interviews. Why all of a sudden, Catherine wanted to grant interviews? Because the executives of the state said, go ahead and do this. All of Michael Jackson's siblings said they didn't want to see that happen. But you quick to believe in media accounts about what they done. But see, you but see, see, you're not really pissed off about that stuff. I mean, yeah, you're a Jack, you're 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 one of those extreme Michael Jackson fans that you can't don't want nobody saying nothing. But you pissed off I called you self hating. You pissed off I, I called out some white folk. You pissed off that I called out that little girl white 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 female behavior. That's what you pissed off about. Because if you wasn't pissed off, you'd have kept the original video with the comments and what you had in the title. See, wishing me harm, insulting me, ain't, ain't doing nothing to me, little sister. You're making yourself like a fool. You couldn't take the heat. And then you keep saying, I'm going to come back and I'm going to keep making reply videos. Go ahead, keep making reply videos. You're gonna, you, I'm going to tell you, every time you put a video up. And see, you're just able to comment. So you think you slick. But I'm gonna let you know something, little sister. You want to play this game? You really want to play this game? You want? You really want? You really want me to go on you hard? I can go on you very, very hard. And then others can go on you hard too out here. All you're gonna do is put yourself out, make yourself like a fool. You young, you self-hating, and you silly. Now you up here wishing me harm and everything. I can go to hell and all this stuff. I mean, that's stupid. And you're going to take things I said. And you know I didn't say in the video out of context. Because you don't think people are going to go back and watch it. That's why I tip you. I want y'all to go back and watch the video that I have up. Since you took your video down. Since you want to be disingenuous. Yes, I'm going to ride with the Jackson siblings because that's a problem in our community. We too busy believe outsiders of other people who don't look like us. We want to believe them. We want to believe in the worst at the black community. You talking about ignorance in the black community? Wait, what you saying? There's no ignorance in the white community? I, you talking about you be watching the news? Do you watch the news? Do you hear what they say about us on a daily basis? Do you see what they do to us on a daily basis? You would think as a black woman, I forget, I, as I said before, and you want to do this bitter black woman thing. And let me and, and let me say this: since you want to try to play that game, some of our sisters have been manip manipulated. Or have been conditioned to think that the black man is the enemy. See, you young. See, you brought on that I am woman, hear me roar shit. Okay? When y'all get y'all nigga moment, what the first thing y'all do, y'all run right back to us. You young. You sitting up here praising people outside of the community. And I'm not saying all white people are racist. I'm not going to sit down with misinterpret what I'm saying. But you have self-hate issues. You haven't lived enough yet. See, you figure I go on YouTube, or I Google it, or I follow them on Twitter. I know the whole story. Nope, I know it's more to this story. And Michael Jackson's brother says they do have a right to question where that money's going. They brother did, and you saying Michael paid all their bills. That's a bunch of lot. That's a bunch of bullshit. Michael probably did put some money to the side for his mother and father, or her, or his mother. Or maybe he did put some money for his siblings, but still, his siblings said, wait a minute. We were, were the people that was running his estate or it was had, had their hands in his death. 
That's why I said when the Dr. Conrad Murray went to jail, I'm like, Mike, Dr. Conrad Murray didn't get Michael hooked on that stuff. Go all the way back to who got Michael hooked on that stuff. See, y'all not asking the, the, the before questions. Y'all just going for the after. Y'all not asking the questions about, well, who introduced Michael to what? Who let Michael have all them plastic surgeries? Even most medical professionals said they would have stopped. If you look at Michael, the year he died, and, and five, year, five or six years prior, Michael was an average-sized black man or an average-sized man. Michael had energy. We, we, I mean, Michael said he had is issues. Remember, and I'm going to tell you something. Remember, Michael was treated for uh, drug addiction back in the 90s. Y'all remember that, don't you? Nah, y'all forget that part. Right there, that's when the signs was kicking in. And his father said he tried to go to the house, but the security pushed him away. And if you go back and look at the trial, the most recent trial, and listen to some of the people that knew Michael, they said it was people that work around Michael or people that Michael didn't know worked for him was keeping the family at bay. The very same media attorney when Mike said, why don't y'all go try to stop him or try to help him? They tried to blame them for Michael dying. They didn't go say, okay, the dermatologists and all these other doctors and all these other people around him, why don't y'all do this? They blamed the family. Lou Ferrigno that was training Michael who said Michael looked healthy and everything. Go back and look at this is it. Go back and look at this is it. That man was skin and bones. But see, you're not, you're not, you're not focusing on none of those white folk. It wasn't Michael's siblings that lied and said he uh, molested somebody. It was a Mexican kid and it was a Jewish boy. It wasn't Michael Jackson's siblings that was doing specials on NBC talking about his ever-changing appearance. It wasn't Michael Jackson's family making cartoons and movies and books mocking him. Remember that video Eminem made of Michael Jackson? Who came to Michael Jackson's defense? Stevie Wonder. It wasn't, it wasn't Brooke Shields. It wasn't Diana Ross. It wasn't, uh, uh, um, um, uh, what's her name, Sheryl Crow Madonna. It wasn't Deepak Chopra or Rabbi Shmuley. Matter of fact, when Michael was alive and dead, the rabbi was talking shit about him. But you're a Michael Jackson fan, but you want to blame the, the siblings. Maybe the siblings said, you know, this is our brother's legacy. They, they went after poor Michael. There was, see, this is what I'm saying. A lot, a lot of you watching bits and pieces. You watching white interpretation. Do you go to black channels? Do you watch black any black shows? Do you pick up black publications? Did you watch that a and &E show when they had the Jacksons on? A lot of these stories you hear are from the perspective of white people or people of color with arterial motives. Michael has been worth more dead than alive. I remember the day I heard that he died. And I'll never forget it. I said, that they're going to they're get off that money. I, I said it. I sat there and said, they're going to get Debbie Rowe going to get popped back in it because she see, she see dollar signs. But nah, y'all idiots out here attacking the family. And y'all don't realize the media's ganging up on them. Well, her children hovering over her. Well, it's, div it's dividing the family. You know why? I'm going to tell you what it is. Janet and them don't want the stuff to be public. Jermaine don't want the stuff public. Reba don't want it public. I can understand that. Marlon, Jackie, and Tito, they don't, they don't want nothing to happen to their mother or to their brother's legacy. And none of them went public. It was the little kids that went public. Then Randy had to go out there. Knows Randy's the one out there speaking on that family behalf. Randy was the one that got Michael's defense team in order. But see, you forget that stuff. But you're a Michael Jackson fan. You know all of it. And by your tone, you prove to me that you have issues with your, with your skin tone. And that's why you, respond, you did response video. Now, you said you're going to keep making video over and over again. Go ahead, but I'm going to let you know something. I ain't the only one going to, you're going to get other people going to make response videos about you if you, want to, if you want to play this game. Trust me on this one. You want to insult me? You want to insult the black community? That's why you took that video down. Because you want nobody to go back and reference that video. Then you sending me comments. Now, I could have sat there and said, yo, hey, everybody, this little girl sending me comments. I'm going to call you a little girl because you, you are younger than me. And you have a, you have a ma your mind of a child. <laughs> you, oh, you're so freaking. Ooh. I'm just looking. There, I'm like, you got to be kidding me. 
See, it's self-hating black women like you and that 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 keep this drama going. Y'all believe everything that white media says, and then they turn on your ass, and y'all were like, why nobody's defending us? Why nobody's saying nothing? Those are Michael freaking kids. I'm not debating the fact that those are Michael children, whether they biological or not, but they're biologically not as kids. My thing is the lack of respect those kids have for adults. And I'm not the only person. Matter of fact, Gladys Knight even said it. So it was Gladys Knight after the kids' money. Everybody saw that video. Everybody knew. They saw what Paris did. If they, then Paris made a threat. I'm going to make them pay. And then, it's, then the brother made the same thing. These kids are feeling themselves. They got that white mindset. They not dumb. But you are. You waited a few days to want to sit back and do a reply video. Why didn't you keep the original video? Because you made comments about the not just me, but the black community. And you did it in this video. I'm going to play part of this video. I want everybody to see your tone. I want everybody to see how you, you try and, and you and you tried to change it, make it come real nice. The other one, you was very hostile. And everybody picked up on that one. But you couldn't hide in this one either. Let me play some of the stuff so everybody can see that I'm not, I'm not picking on you. Hi YouTube, it's Alexis24, and I'm making a video response to James Jackson's sick and self-hating Michael Jackson fan. Um, I watched your video, and I think it's a load of crap. It's garbage. Um, and I seriously think that you are out of your mind, and that you are very, 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 very ignorant. And you em emulate exactly what I was trying to put forth in that video. Um, the only thing I want to tell well, I found out that you posted this video because I saw it pop up on my little um, subscriptions box because someone who I happen to um, be subscribed to commented. Um, and I find the comment that was placed there to be very, very contradictory to what she should believe since she claims to be a Michael Jackson fan. And, and she's talking about Gia Ireland, but okay. Um... And if you know who I'm talking about, um, or if this person knows that I'm talking about them, I don't give a fuck, okay? Um, but anyway, um, I, I'm trying to figure out how you got self-hate. Wait, and before that, um, I'm looking at a list of stuff I'm, I'm going to address, so forgive me if I stumble. Um, I'm just trying to understand how you get self-hate out of this video. Um, I really don't understand it. Um, if, uh, if anything, I think what you find offensive is a simple fact that I'm not going to go along with the ignorance that you were putting forth in. I don't care. I put a video up. You came to my video and responded. I didn't you to respond. That was my opinion. You could have put a video up saying your, your views, and you could have left me out of it. Nah, you figure I'm going to go fuck with another black person because I, I, you know you're going to need to get some bag up or people are going to say, rock on, girl, rock on. And you notice on that, in that, vid that video where you said nigger them and you was insulting just me but the black community, where was all your, all your friends at? You maybe had one or two people to come on there, then they had bogus channels. And I can go back to my channel and show you the bogus channels, but that could have been you because like I said, I, I got stuff from you and those people just fucking with me. And when I blocked y'all, y'all tried to went and create dummy channels. So let me tell you, I got the screen capture software for a reason. So don't play innocent. But you pissed off because I said self-hating, which you are. Listen to your tone. Listen to the things you said. This is why you took down the original video. Why would you take it down if you was on point? Nah, because everybody pointed out the same thing that I that I caught. Your tone. And your mindset, and I'm not mean by tone. I'm not talking about how you speak. I'm not talking about your flex. I'm, it's more your flexions. This video and the other video that you made about I am right. Um, I'm not a self hater. I do not hate myself. I love myself um, enough not to associate myself with the ignorance of my race. Now she said the ignorance of my race. Ignorance of my race. What did I do was ignorant. I, vo I voiced opinion, my view, because I'm, I am older than you, and I have been following this stuff a little bit longer than you. But you said the ignorance of my race. See, this is what I'm talking about. You just proved my point. You self hating. You should have said ignorance of some people or a difference in opinion, but you said ignorance of my race. You just basically called the black community ignorant. You said that, not me. 
groups of people that I hang around. I'm an individual. I have my own opinions. I have my own thoughts. And I'm not going to associate myself with ignorance. And just because I'm black, I'm not going to associate myself with a, with a, with a portion of the black community and of the black race that chooses to be ignorant like you. And see, she said, my race, portion of the black community. Okay, so you take, because I give a, a different perspective automatically, I'm ignorant. You don't know my education. You don't know my intelligence, intelligence level. But see, you just assume. See, that's why I say you have a white person mind. What you just did is what white people have done. They assume that because you're black that you don't know anything. But let me go on. Um, secondly, um, your comments on black women and me being an angry, bitter black woman and 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 me wanting to go along with the white race now she thinks she's slick if any of y'all watched the video and there were women who watched my video too know that i didn't say it in that way but i like the fact that you you reversed it see i told y'all some of our sisters have been conditioned or brainwashed to think like white women and they pick up on certain words they try to throw it around they try to dovetail them something else but i want y'all to listen to the rest of this I find that to be very pathetic, and you trying to use that to um, substantiate your claims is absolutely pathetic. It just goes to show that you don't know what you're talking about. If anything, I've been following this um, Jackson family um, stuff for ever since it came out about a week ago, um, and everything is really, really tough. Okay, now you know she said, I've been following this Jackson stuff ever since it came out about a week ago, versus somebody who's been following the Jacksons for 30-something years of their life. You see what I'm saying? See, she's proving me right. See, this is stupidity. See, you see, and you you're picking up bits and pieces. See, you're watching too much of that uh, TMZ shit. You're reading too much of the Acquire. You're watching too much Access Hollywood Entertainment Night. These shows are, have have a certain narrative. They are geared to show a, a slanted perspective. Okay, but let me go on. Telltale. All you have to do <coughs> is look up everything and see what's going on. No, she said, look up everything. See, this is what I'm telling you. This is why this, this age group, her age group is going to be so fucked in the next 20 years. Because if you figure you ain't seeing it on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Google, Yahoo, MSN, or you don't see it on these intimate shows, it doesn't, it doesn't exist. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, some of our people are fucked up. I, you will find out. That the Jackson family is in the wrong. I don't understand why people are so in denial of that. I do not understand it. She said, I don't understand why people are so in denial about that. Now, you just basically admitted that I'm not the only one that thinks this. Because we've a lot of us got age on you. A lot of us have experiences. A lot of us know better. A lot of us saw this coming down the line. We saw it. This is why they wanted to get Papa Joe out of the way. Because he the one that said, keep the kids in private school. Don't put them in a public school. Even Paris said she did the kids at school don't hear what I'm talking. They hear hear what they're saying about me. Remember, she said that to Oprah. So don't think these kids and got in their head. Well, my father said some member of the first of all, Michael was wrong. You don't sit there and put shit like that in kids' head. All he could have said, you know what? There are people out there that are gonna do things to you. Sometimes they may be family members. And he, and he could have broke it that way. But when you start saying this un uncle and these kids, you you putting this shit in their head. This is why you got kids growing up hating their fathers and hating their mothers because adults are not being adults. Kids have a pretty good BS meter. Kids know when somebody, even as babies, when a baby don't want to be held or be around somebody, they cry. They pull away. They they know. We, it's right around about you get about 10, 11, you use it. You lose it because you have to conform to certain ideas. You have to pretend like everything is okay. You learn a lot. But let's go on. It, it's ridiculous. Um. Anyway, over on that, and I'm not a and, and I'm not a bitter black woman. Just so happens I don't have to follow a black man. I do not. See, she just said it. She just. I just don't happen to follow black. See, I did not tell y'all. See, you listen to it long enough, she's gonna tell it. Tell her out. No. She in her video of you go back and listen to what she said. That's when that came up with the came to the bitter and self hating part. That's what she said. That's what she was sounding like. And she what did she say? A black man. I guarantee you this chick got a white boyfriend, want a white guy somewhere along the line. I guarantee you to you. She just she's telling you. Everything I pointed out, she's telling you. And she's so see she she don't realize what she's doing. But she's intelligent. Need your permission 
to think the way I think. And I never and I never said I needed my permission. As I said before, you came to my channel. You made a response. I didn't know you from shit. And to have my opinions, which I think my opinions are a lot more logical than your opinions. Because a lot of the opinions that you put in that video are absolute garbage and shit. Um, next. I want to substantiate the fact, yes, I do believe Paris, Prince, and Blanket are Michael's biological children. Okay, you lose credibility all right there. Go look at the picture of the dermatologist and Debbie Rowe. Look at Michael's oldest son. Look at his daughter. If you think those Michael, Michael Jackson biological kids, you're more delusional than I thought, and you reinforce the self-hating black woman part. I'm telling you right now. You are delu delusional, little sister. You are delusional. There has by I mean, see, this is what I'm saying. This is what I talk about in my videos. And I said, you know, some black people get mad at me or have gotten mad at me because I said Kim Kardashian, um, Jennifer Lopez, or whomever out there who call themselves somebody other. Those are people of color. They come from us. Our genetics are still dominant. That means as far as uh, pigment. Uh, facial lips, nose, but because people' hair is a little bit long and straighter, we assume that just that's just a white a trait that we associate white people. No, there are black people in Africa who have straight hair who have never had any interaction with white people. That's another thing we need to stop saying that everybody in, in America, black Americans, are all mixed. That's not true. We need to stop with that, okay? But listen to I'm telling you, listen to this sister long enough. She's telling you how brainwashed she is. I tell you how self hating she is. She's just reinforcing everything I've said. See, boy, I'm telling you, some people are so smart they're dumb. That is not going to change until someone comes along and changes my mind. And the only way you're going to be able to change my mind <coughs> is if they, do DNA, if they do a DNA test on those children. And I don't care if they come out not being biologically his. You don't care. I think you should care. You should care that people are clapping on to the legacy of our community, and when it when it could see, when it suits them, saying they are part of us, they reach a certain level, get a certain amount of money, they run away from, it, they take the things that we've created. This is why I I, I find it highly offensive. Fence, uh, offensive that here it is you have black women who have natural curves, who've had large behinds, large hips, large butts, they have beautiful shapes, beautiful skin have been called ugly, but now you get some white women that either went and bought it or have some similar or may have the same thing, now all of a sudden it's sexy and beautiful, but you don't see it because you've been conditioned to think a certain way. Let's go on. He raised those kids. Those are his children. That is their father. End of story. I'm really sick of people going off saying, those are white kids. They don't deserve to have MJ's estate and blah, blah, blah. No, they don't deserve to have MJ estate. I'm going to tell you why they don't deserve to have MJ estate. Here it is. Our ancestors were in bondage. Okay? And our ancestors were promised four acres in the Have I Did our ancestors get it? Did we get it? No. When the first thing people say, I had nothing to do with that. That was in the past. You guys are not entitled to any of that money. So why don't the same hold true for, for Michael um, adoptive children? Here it is. His children his children didn't perform. It was Michael and his siblings. And I guess people forget that it was, it was a team for a long time. People forget that it was times that Michael went on and sung background music or wrote, helped write music for his siblings or they wrote music for him or, or supported him in his endeavors. We forget that. There was a lot of music that Michael so sung background on that was starting to come out. What's that song? Uh, I know he, um, what's it, Michael McDonald, he sung background on some of his music. Some of the Bee Gees and stuff. But see, we don't talk about those things. Michael has a rich legacy. Maybe his siblings say, you know, we don't want to see our brother legacy twisted. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> because we, we've all heard of black artists who've created a lot of stuff. They have people come in and take their take the intellectual property or their legacy and twist it. This is why I get sick to the stomach when I see white men and white women singing or talking about the blues, but it was but it was a black art form. Just like rock and roll. Look at rap. Look how Eminem and all these other white rappers have come in here and all of a sudden they're the best rappers around. Come on. Now and I said this before, I'm not being racist. I'm not. It's no such thing as a black racist. But I'm a realist. And I'm saying this. Why should 
those kids who have no genetic ties to the Jackson be treated as if they're, don't give me, I know that sounds mean. I mean, no disrespect. Like I said, those are Michael Jackson children. He loved and he raised them. But when you sit on him and make a threat to an adult, when you disrespect an adult in that way, no, you lose, you lose that, you lose that privilege. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've stated before, I have adopted siblings now, color struck. And I'm gonna tell you something. We took up for them, we defended them, but the older they got, the more they, they like I mean, my, my doctor brother basically said, White people, they, they got everything, they, they do everything better. And we just looking at we sitting at the dinner table listening to them and say, Wow. Wow, dude, you know you black, right? It wasn't until he got his nigga moment, he ran back like, you guys were right. <laughs> They're mean. And we just sitting there shaking our head like, okay. Can you guys help me? No. You're a grown man. We warned you it was going to happen. Now, that's not saying all white people are mean, but let's be honest with you. They have not done a whole hell of a lot to prove to us that they can be trusted. But when somebody, you you invite somebody into your home, you, you, you treat them as one of your own, they turn around and do what they do, no. They don't deserve to be looked upon as Jacksons. Because I guarantee you, they're going to pull a bait and switch. They get older, they're going to want to get, I want to go get to know my mother, because I didn't get to know her. Watch, it always happens. We've all heard a story about biological children searching out for their biological parents. Even though they know who Debbie Rowe is, they don't live with Debbie Rowe. Watch this going to happen. As soon as you get closer to the kids, get a certain age, Debbie Rowe going to like, you know, I want to get my children alive. When Michael died, didn't she do that? But when Michael's alive, she didn't. Remember, she tried to go to court to try to sue. <coughs> and they said, wait a minute, you start, you signed away your parental rights. We seem to forget that part. So I don't know. I don't think the kids should be entitled to that money like that. I think that, that money, the family should have a say. Those are Michael Jackson blood relatives. Well, he earned all that money by himself. No, he didn't. He had producers and writers that helped him. He had fans that, that went and bought his album. So don't sit there and say Michael did it all by himself. Nobody does. Matter of fact, we have a discussion now where the, they took the president words out of context when he said, you just didn't do it all by yourself. There's things that I do every day. I still got to get help from people. I mean, there's certain things you do. You got to have that will to push yourself. But nobody does anything by themselves. But no, I don't believe that children should, white kids should have, have, that, have that, that power over that state. I don't think white people should have that power over the state. I think the problem is with the black community, we don't pass our shit down. We don't keep it in the family. This is why certain businesses in the white community have thrived. You may not know about this, and I'm just going to change the subject just a second, for a second. White Castle, maybe some of y'all have heard of it. It's owned by the family, the, 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 uh, the uh, creed of White Castle. It's kept a family-owned business. It was stipulated in the will that it's a family-owned business. Notice there's no franchises. It's a family-owned business. That's why it's been going on for, for so long, so strong. There are a lot of businesses out there that people keep in, in their family. Regard, and then you got to meet certain qualifications. You got to do certain things because they have people watching. Michael let people get in his head and tell him, don't do this, don't do that. Michael treated Elizabeth Taylor like... Me and Liz is best friend. What do you want to be a friend with an old ass white woman for? You were so in love with your mother and Diana Ross and them. Why'd you get you hang around them? Then why do you go hang around with Cicely Tyson and them? You so you so you you, you just ignore all these things that Mike did and, and questionable things that everybody saw. But being the black, some of us in the black community gave him the benefit of the doubt. Cause we kept saying money make you go crazy, money make you do this. Mike was color struck, and sister, you don't want to see it. Let's go on with the video. And I got to apologize. That is the most ignorant that thing that you could ever say. And I want to apologize to everybody. This is probably going to be a really long video. But I got to put this out because I'm tired of our black people, especially our younger black folk, saying things that don't have all the facts or don't use have enough life experience. Hey, it doesn't matter if the kids are black. It doesn't matter if the kids are white. Michael raised those children from birth on up until his death, and they loved the hell out of Michael. And Michael loved the hell out of them, so I don't even understand where that comes into play, so you need to knock it off. And every single person that commented on this video is absolutely blind. That is so stupid. That proves you're ignorant. So they go with you the insult. Let's go the insult. See what I mean? And that, that also makes me think that you're not even freaking human. That doesn't... Now, 
That means you're not freaking human. Now I see this little bitch. Now and I and I and I, I promise I wouldn't go there, but um, this little sambo handkerchief head cut bitch made a video and sold not just me, but the black community at large. And when people saw that video, they came at her, and, and none of them, and, and none of them was disrespect, but they came and told her, you got issues. She took that video down. I asked again, why did you take a video down? You so confident in your opinion? make any sense and the simple fact that people want to come out and attack his children like that that is absolutely ridiculous and pathetic on your part you need to knock it off sir you need to knock it off those kids are missing their father because of all the shit that they have to go through the jackson family is evil and conniving and you know it you okay the shit those kids went through it wasn't i said it again his siblings didn't give him that proof of all his siblings wasn't hang on it wasn't yes men or yes women it was the people that Michael associated himself. If you go back and watch watch Michael progression over the years, the more white people, the more pe Hindu, Arab, uh, Asian, or, Je uh, or Jewish he hung around, the more Michael looked like a fool. More Michael went through problems. It wasn't his family's, but you say his family's evil. Tell me what they tell me that Michael Jackson family gave him the proof of all. Tell me that Michael Jackson family the one that got him to get accused of molestation. Tell me that Michael Jackson family is the one that got him mocked in the media relentlessly. No, you're going by what the white media said, and you just proved my point that you're self-hating little cunt. You need to do more research, because that's absolutely ridiculous. Next, um, Paris um, twittering, and, and you referring to her as being, she's a 14-year-old child. She doesn't know what she's talking about. I'm going to believe Michael's children over anybody else who's involved in this garbage. See, right there, that's your problem. You believe in the 14 year old kids. You know how many 14 year old kids and got adult lives fucked up? And then you come to find out that these people never done the things they was accused. I remember reading cases where there were little 14 year old girls, 14 year old boys, especially little 14 year old girls. And I'm not talking about black girls, I'm talking about girls in general. But usually they're white. Have accused adults of molestation or doing inappropriate things and they never did and these people sat in jail 10 15 20 30 years of their life and then they get a moment of conscience and say oh, you know I, I i i lie and then people want to dismiss it as being um as uh being a, being dismissed as being a child thing then we just have the issue with brian banks where he was what 16 and the um girl in question I, i'm trying to believe she i'm trying to think that she was either between the age of 14 or 16 she lied she lied and sent the guy to jail for six years of life. So don't sit there and say what 14 years can't do. You don't sit there and say the 14 years don't lie. There are 14 years that have killed people. There's 14 years that have raped people. There's 14 years old that have caused strife among individuals. You said in the classroom at the age of 14. You know if we, 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 we were capable of at the age of 14. If Paris can get on TV and, 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 and curse and say I, on Twitter and say, I love my brother so fucking much. She's 14. She's supposed to be naive, right? She's not naive. She's getting older. In less than four years, she'd be 18 years old. She's considered a woman. Prince Michael, he's 15 years old. He said, I'm going to let, I'm going to put it all out there. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Since when the kids talk like this? No, the problem is the last 20 years, the media and so-called friends of the black community or psychologists say, don't display your children's way. Give them a time out. Let them express themselves. All those kids, all them psychiatrists that said express that we've had Calderbond, we've had girls getting pregnant, throwing babies in dumpsters, we've had uh, girls and boys having sex at a young age, we got them experiment, experiment. we got them out there um, thinking that they're gay or bi or whatever, and, but this is all because people like you think that, well, 14-year-olds, they they're, they're know what they're doing. No, 14 years old, she'll know what she's doing. She can live on her own. She's been pampered all her fucking life. But let's go on. I do not believe Janet. I do not believe Jermaine. I do not believe Randy. I do not believe um what what's the other girl? Reby. Okay? And you call Reby a girl. Reby is sixty seven years old. That other girl. Reby been out of spot. Reby don't go out too much. She lives a quiet life. She she has a a, a daughter that's older than you. <coughs> Matter of fact, <coughs> I think Reby's daughter's older than me. Okay. I do not believe Catherine. 
Because Catherine's been Okay, been, you just said in the other video you said they was they they they, they dog poor Catherine. Now you saying you don't believe her. Which one is it? You believe you believe or you don't? Or you think she's being brainwashed? Catherine, like you said, she's eighty two years old. She's an old enough woman. There are people around her. I don't Janet is a millionaire. Janet got her own money, so Janet's not after her brother's money. Janet don't want her family to be divided any more than it has to because let's be honest, Janet, Latoya, and Michael put this shit in motion set this shit in motion, bad mouthing their father. And so now the people say, well, you know what? You got the black guy out of the way. We can divide and conquer because we obviously know the, the Jackson siblings are color struck because every last one of them had a nose job. Every last one of them. If you look at the women they've married, the men they've been with, they've all have a certain look or a certain background. I'm telling you, you can't say that family ain't color struck. Now, that's something that I go to my grade letting y'all say they color struck. I knew that when I was a shorty. If you look at all the, the, the kids, the, 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 the granddaughters and them, look at the characteristics they got. Look at the skin tone. Family as dark as them. And you got to come on, people. Come on. But see, you a little cunt. You a little self-hating cunt. And you can't see it. You ain't had enough life experiences yet. Brainwashed by her children. And the only thing that um, MJ's siblings are trying to do is they're trying to turn Catherine away from the children so that Catherine can keep a hold of that money so that Randy and Jermaine can keep on living this above, you know, above their means lifestyle. Above their means. They've been rich ever since they were fucking kids. They got their own shit. Randy Demon. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me break something down to you. Randy didn't even go on that damn show they was doing on a &E. Now, they did that show before Michael died because Michael was going to do a guest appearance on that show. A lot of people forget that. Randy said he's pretty much done with the music industry. He said he wants to do things behind the scene. And you said above the Jermaine and Randy. Jermaine performs. Jermaine performs. Jermaine just is on tour prior to him and his brothers getting back together going on tour. Paying for their illegitimate children. Illegitimate children. Where do you get that shit from? Where do you get the illegitimate children from? These men have been married. If even they do have illegitimate children, what the fuck? Now you're gonna say something about illegitimate children, but you're gonna want us to boost up to no three white little. Let me say those two white little in a little. Those two kids obviously are white, but you're gonna say something about illegitimate children. See, you you delusional little girl. And and I don't even understand why Janet is involved in this. That makes her even more shitty. Now you just proved my point. You said I don't even know why Janet. So why are you saying that Janet is evil? That she's no good. Remember what I said? Janet has her own money. Maybe Janet sees something. Janet even stated before this shit happened. She said, I don't, I don't wish my, 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 I don't think Paris should get into acting. I don't think she don't understand it. She don't understand that world. And that's what Paris took, 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 took Janet to heart. Got Janet's voice to displeasure and, and her doing stuff that she know her brother. Because Michael and Janet was very close. But since you're a Jackson fan, a Michael Jackson fan, you, you, you've seen the left that part out. But okay, let's keep going. It's ridiculous. And you should, and, and what you need to look at, you need to look at the ABC News interview. If I, if I had a desktop cam. And you just proved my point. You look in that interviews out of context. I would bring it up, but I don't have a desktop cam. I don't even know how to freaking use this stupid thing. But anyway, if you see how MJ siblings are hovering over their mother. Most kids, when their parents reach a certain age, when their parents get to a point when they physically or mentally cannot protect themselves and help themselves, that's what children do. See, you live a little bit longer, you understand that. When, when my mother passed away, my father, he, he, he still got, got common sense, but some things my father don't do like he used to, okay? And me and my brother and sisters were protective of him. He's our only surviving parent. He's not in the best health, but we're protecting him because we don't want nobody to take advantage. People take advantage of senior citizens. We hear this, don't y'all, you hear this every day of people scamming and come and say, I'm a meter reader and come in and take their jewelry or beat them and rob them. See, you young, you don't understand life yet. I didn't see nothing wrong with Janet and them hovering over, or, yes, you know, standing with them. I'm not going to use the word hover. That's you using the move, the, 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 the sound bites and the quotes that the white media have used. But let's keep going, you cunt. Making her read off of a scripted notebook with all... 
script it. That's what most people do. Even the fucking president of the United States read off a script. Everybody reads a script when they give them that. They tell you that's, that's, they tell you that's smart. Any lawyer would tell you, you write your shit now, you have somebody going along with it, read, go along read it. Because sometimes, as human beings, we either ramble or we forget things. Or we leave certain things out or we say too much and it's used against us. But you, but you, but you, you have intelligence. You're smart. All this garbage in it. Oh my goodness, it is sickening. You need to do your research, seriously, because I think you are seriously out of touch with what... But you just said, I need to do my research. You just said, you just stopped following this shit last week. As I said, I got 30 years on you, baby girl. ...been going on. Um, next. You stated that Michael should have had his shit together. I'm gonna tell you this. Michael could not trust and did not trust anyone in his family, but... He, Michael didn't. You said Michael didn't trust anyone's family. He trusts outsiders that was fucking him in every rip. Hmm, let me see. Family that says still with me do do thick and thin, versus outsiders that that have ulterior motives who have done nothing but played me. <coughs> Remember, Michael. It was an interview or it was an audio tape that was released that said Michael said he don't trust anybody. He wanted to get rid of everybody that was around him. He wanted his father to come in. He Michael asked his father. Y'all forget that key piece. Mike asked his father to come back in and, and, and help get the shit in order. See, this is what I'm talking about. You you picking certain bits and pieces. This is why I say, since you're going to use the internet, you're going to use Google, you better use it really, really to correctly. You better go and get your points. Got Michael asked his father to come back in. Matter of fact, Michael went and hired him. He, the guy since died, I think he died last year, the year before last. The ball, I forgot his name. He was a manager for Michael back during the thriller era and bad era. Mike called his father and they got back in and helped man. Now, if Michael hated his father and didn't trust his father, why would you call your father to come back and help you manage everything? Joe was not dumb. Or is not dumb, I should say. But see, you forget that part. You're a fan of Michael Jackson. You know all these ins and outs. This is stuff that everybody know. At least those of us who are old enough have been paying attention. But see, you tend to see if it's not on the internet, if it's not on TV, if TMZ, or it's not on YouTube, it's not true. His mother. Michael did not trust his siblings. His siblings dogged him out. Okay, what, tell me where his, sister, his siblings dogged him out at. Oh, when they teased him when he was a kid? They dogged him out, but when he was going through all that shit, his siblings out there speaking on his behalf. Okay. When Michael went on tour um, with, um, for the Victory Tour, I think it was in 1985, they dogged him out. If anything, Catherine. The victory tour is nineteen eighty four to ninety eight. Actually, not through nineteen eighty five. I think it was nineteen eighty four. If I'm not mistaken, probably into eighty five. How did his brothers dog him out when he used to he used to he used to marquee name? They was probably pissed like he had a, he had a a a, 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 a prima donna attitude. Okay, let's go on. Had to talk Michael into going on tour. Michael knew what it was all about. They wanted money. Okay. If let's say for shits and giggles, his his parents had to talk him going on the tour. They want money like any other human being. You mean tell me you don't want no money to go buy things? You don't want money to support yourself? Remember, but see, you forget they had a a, a record out. Remember that song Torture? Yeah. They Jermaine had a solo career going. Was it like his brothers? No. Janet was starting to sing. Um, Latoya had uh had 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 uh had an album out. Reby had one out. Was Centipede? I think and, and I think Tito maybe Tito and Jackie may may not be the only one that probably have nothing out. I think they did the Jackson thing. And the Jacksons last recorded that um that record was the 1991 2300 Jackson Street. But you know all this, right? Okay, fine. Let's keep going. That was it. Michael didn't want to go on tour. Michael didn't want to have anything to do with his family. He barely had anything to do with them after he got his solo career started. M Michael didn't want to have anything to do with his family. That's what you. That's your opinion. But that is true. It's because everybody else tells you don't need him. You don't need them. And he saw how they started dogging him out. He didn't want his kids around him for this very reason. You need Mike didn't want his kids around him. nobody, and his kids did go around, go around them. So I mean. Where are you getting this information from? Seriously. You should do your research, dude. I'm telling you. Because you sound really ridiculous. Next, um, uh, you stated that um, Michael doesn't have much of a legacy. Michael has a legacy. And it's in his fans.
I never said that. And if I said he mis you grossly misquote what I said, I said Michael don't have his shit together. Michael do have a legacy, but Michael Jackson, that his legacy is gonna be pissed, it's gonna be shredded. They're gonna milk it, they're gonna sell, they're gonna the next five to ten years, they're gonna do everything to put Michael Jackson image and face on everything. I never say he never legacy. Now if I did that, I don't you probably took it out of context. If I did it, I don't I don't remember saying that, truly. If I did, I did you know, if I did, I did, but I don't recall saying that. And it's probably you probably took something out of mis to uh misca screw something. But anyways. And it's in his children. His legacy has been tainted by people like you and your stupid. Uh, his legs been tainted by people like me. So I'm the one that was making Michael Jackson jokes. I'm the one that lied and got saved and left somebody. Wait, I'm I'm the one that bought Michael Jackson shit. Right now, I can go if I can go and, if I can pull out his CDs, uh, his magazines, the books, the the books they bought, um. I was the one when everybody was saying in, in, in my immediate family saying he was a pedophile. I was saying he wasn't because I was paying attention to shit. No, it's people like you that don't want to analyze everything all around. So you think Michael Jackson can do no wrong. Michael Jackson made poor choices. It's there between being a fan, which is short fanatic, and being a sycophant that just go along with everything he, he said or done. You cannot tell me that Michael did not create some of these problems for himself. But you're young, you're young, you're stupid, and you're a handkerchief here. But what what you expect? Ignorant freaking comments. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous, dude. I'm telling you. Ooh, Next, it's ridiculous, dude. Uh, <sighs> you stated that, you know, people like me do hate when something, you know, white is criticized. I do not associate anything with a race or a skin color. When it comes to an idea, an ideal, I, I, I said, yeah, why do you take that video down? What was the title of the video? What did you say about black people? What did you say in this video? Uh, um, you know, or any kind of philosophy. I do not associate it with a particular race. I do not. I don't understand where that came from, but I find that to be very ignorant as well. I am not criticizing anything that's white. I am criticizing the simple fact that Michael Jackson you said you're not crit you just said it. You're not criticizing anything. <laughs> since kids have to go through this mess. And he didn't want them to go through with this. Just so happens since he's not here, his um his brothers and sisters think that they can get over on the kids. Those kids are in freaking danger. I don't even understand why people are so in denial. Also, another thing, Catherine is not seventy nine, she's eighty two. Next, um, <clears throat> you stated that you you implied that Michael's kids are out of control and that they are trying to run the home because of you know what's been going on. Those kids are smarter than probably you and I. Those kids are very wow. You that you you putting yourself down. Those kids ain't smarter than me because they were smart. They wouldn't be on no damn Twitter and Facebook. They would sit their ass down and let let the state come in. When the state comes in, they get in the room. They're going to ask them, see, you you so fucking dumb. And then if they were smart, they'll just wait to get 18, 19 years old. Then, okay, you motherfuckers did this to us. You motherfuckers said this to us. Whoop, we're out of here. Even people people that, that, that can't stand the Jacksons are out here saying that Paris and Prince have went too far. And tweeting certain things. As I said, Gladys Knight and a few other celebrities even said, and I know Chris Brown shouldn't be saying anything. I'm going to address that in the video. Even, but even they, they, they said the whole family should stop, which they should. Which they should, but if it got the, if it's about the lawyers manipulating stuff and the kids see it, and then you got, the, then you got these little interlopers out there tweeting shit they have no understanding of, then of course, of course, you know, there's going to be some issues, but no. No, no kids. Mm -mm. Nah. Mm -mm. Strong. And what they're putting up with, they shouldn't have to put up with. But they have to do it because there's really no one there to speak up for them. Except for the people who are keeping up with their Twitter posts. And except for the judge, who is not going to give Catherine guardianship of those kids. Because she does not deserve guardianship of those kids. And not only does it not have to have, it doesn't have anything not just to do with her age, but the simple fact that her, her children are taking advantage of her. 
And they're taking advantage of her so that they can get to the kids, get to the estate, take over, and they're going to get... Oh, my goodness. This is ridiculous. You, you're proving my point. You believe in the worst of the black family, but you believe in the white media. Wow. Michael's kids are very, very well, um, well respectful, disciplined kids. And they're smart. And they're intelligent. Goodness gracious. How do you know they're intelligent? Seriously, how the fuck do you know they're intelligent? Because they, they sit on the camera and bat their eyes. How do you know they're intelligent? But yet, you assume that his his siblings are no good. Don't you see the self-hate? Don't you see your, your words, your, your thinking is dripping with self-hate? You're elevating two little white kids to the status of they can do no wrong. They're being victims. You 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 know you are a a, a clan or a neo Nazi or militia wet dream. You are one of their wet dreams. They can get a black person out here saying this shit. Yes, I don't understand that. I do not understand where you get that from either. Um, and you said that um, you know, could it be that Michael's siblings are actually doing this to? Help Michael and to help his children. No, 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 no. You are not keeping up with the news. You said I'm not keeping up with the news, dude. You are not keeping up with the news, okay? What's been going on the news lately? And I'm going to try and do a brief, you know, summary of everything that's been going on because I've been keeping up with what's been going on in the news. You are not looking at enough, and you're also biased, and I think you're also racist as well. <laughs> um, Michael's siblings. Right after Michael died, they tried to contest the will. The will? You know why they contest the will? Because the people that was over eight, was it AEG, whatever it was, they were saying something that even Michael stated in previous interviews didn't want to happen. His mother even knew this. Even acquaintances of Mike knew Mike didn't want to do this. And then considering that Dr. Conrad Merck was hired by the people that was producing This Is It, that, that uh, helping him stage... That concert, and then the people who made the movie knows the people who made the movies behind this, all this. It was suspicion. You, if you, if you take, if you make this connection, that connection, that connection. Of course, the family is going to going to start questioning things. As I said before, even Michael said he needed to clean house. That's why they brought he asked his father to come back in. But you have just saying I don't watch the news, but apparently you don't. Was looked at by a probate court and determined to be legitimate and real. The will is not real. It was proof. See, the other day it was on the news, but see, you say you, you watch the news. It's video of Michael Jackson in New York in 2002. And I think it was either September, no, no, it was, two, it was a set, it had to be September of 2002, maybe three. But I know it was around that time. Of him in New York with Reverend Sharpton with uh, Dougie Fresh. And they said that Michael signed that will that day and around that same time. Unless Michael had cloned himself or that he got on a plane and flew back. And I mean, very, I mean, it's certain things in that will just don't make sense. And I, you know, you, like I said before, you don't have that length of time to understand what's going on. But like I said, by your tone and by your way of thinking, you think anything a white person, anything the white media says is truth. And I'm going to apologize to my subscribers if this video is long. It's just I got to do this because I want people to understand what this, 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 this coon is doing right here. And what I said. And I don't want people to mis, mis, um, misunderstand what I said. Because as I said, she took down that original video for a reason. Because there was a lot of things in that video she said that people pointed out. And if anybody went back and looked at that video, I didn't even comment on nothing. I mean, I think... I didn't respond. I don't think I was. No, I didn't respond to her. She's been sending me messages and stuff, and her, 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 she's been making little dumb, the dummy channels and stuff. She's this this chick ain't dumb. She knows exactly what she's doing, and she's and she's mad because I called out on it. If she didn't like my opinion, she should never came to my fucking channel, insulting me and insulting the black community. But as y'all can see, and just the stuff I played, y'all y'all see what she's on. I'm gonna play the rest of this uninterrupted, and like I said, hopefully you guys understand 
why I, why I said what I said about her and why is, is I say that we need to deal with people in our community who have self-hate issues or people who are violent to each other because this is the type of black man and black woman that we have among us that keeps more drama going and they keep deferring to other people when we got we have evidence we have empirical evidence we have experiences that we've got we all have experienced when we know that when you uh, elevate other people or always promoting other people and saying there's something wrong with your people or people that look like you. It's something wrong. And this is why our communities have has been in, in shambles the last 40 years. Because we've allowed women like her, men like her to have a voice. I would have loved her along. If y'all notice, I didn't make no rebuttal. I didn't say anything else. And even when I did the video, a reply video, I, I didn't insult her. But as y'all can see in this video... She has insulted me and she has insulted the black community. And she did in the other video. That's why she took it down. Even some of my people, some of the people, even my subscribers say, hey, Harvey, you know she took the video down? I said, yeah, because she knew she was wrong. And now she, and I knew she was going to come back and make a video because she had been leaving me comments. I said, she's going to make a video. She's going to wait a few days and she's going to come back and leave me comments. But I'm going to let you know something. My subscribers, they hooked me up on you making this video because I wasn't even going back to your channel to be perfectly honest with you. My subscribers said, yo, man, you know she made a video talking about you and, and saying something in, in, uh, in, 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 in uh, indirect reference to Jir Island. I'm like, yeah, I picked up on that. I mean, I want y'all to listen to the rest of what this chick got to say. Y'all can y'all can sit there and disagree with me or fine, but y'all can't deny that I'm going to point about the sister having self-hate issues. I don't understand why they keep on trying to go back and claim the will isn't legitimate, the will is not real, it's fake, all this and that and blah blah blah, other than the fact that they are being conniving and greedy and they are trying to get their hands on Michael's kids' money. Catherine has been dogged out by her kids for a long time. Michael gave money to Catherine so that Catherine could sustain a comfortable lifestyle. Actually, I'm going to tell you this. Catherine has been taking that money, distributing, distributing it to her children so that they can lead over-the-top lifestyles that they do not deserve. If anything, Michael's siblings need to get their asses up and work. Work for what they want and stop trying to make their name off of Michael. <laughs> Damn. Michael worked freaking hard to get to where he is. And the simple fact that these, these, they're, that um, Catherine's kids are coming out acting like this is absolutely pathetic. You make a response video to this video, I'm going to respond again. And again, and again, and again. This is going to be never ending. I don't even understand why, oh my goodness, you're wasting your fucking time. You're wasting your fucking time. Okay, if I'm wasting my fucking time, why would you want to make response videos again and again and again? You know what you're trying to do? You want, you want viewership. You want people to come to your channel. Now, I can't control people coming to your channel. I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna give you a little heads up. Since you want to go here, they're gonna be people gonna make stop making rebuttal videos to you. They're gonna put you. They're gonna you're gonna be put out here on YouTube. They're gonna people gonna hit you hard now. And I'm gonna tell you something. Why did you take down the original video? Because you don't want and see you don't want nobody to know what you said. But people ain't dumb. These people, all the people that came in, that came there, they saw you came at me nasty. They saw it. They saw the video. They saw the comments. You probably never had this much, much, much interact because you only have, what, 13 videos up. That's what you're trying to do. And I'm going to tell you, after, and that ain't going to work. Because the last brother and sister that tried that, they realized, okay, I'm going to stop fucking with this dude. Because, because I got facts. I have experiences. Obviously, you don't have, little girl. Time with me. Um, and also, um, uh, Paris being 14 and the Paris versus Jackson controversy, I don't Keep, I had to remind you, the police went there and they found no wrongdoing. 
The doc. Let me shut up. Let you finish for no reason. And Jermaine and Janet denied lawyers the opportunity to speak with Catherine, Catherine to find out what the hell was going on because those grandkids were worried the hell out of themselves about her because they knew they, that she was in danger. Goodness gracious. You need to stop. Goodness all gracious. On this video needs if to she... stop. And I'm going to, I'm going to actually, I'm going to go out on Len and make a personal, um, uh, make a personal attack. Gia Ireland, I think you're a pathetic Michael Jackson fan because you should know better than this. I don't think the bi, the, the biology, the. Let me let you know something. It's one thing to fuck with me when you fuck with Gia Ireland. You just fucked up, baby girl. I'm gonna let you know something. What's gonna, what's gonna, what's gonna follow? It's gonna follow. Now you're gonna be a subject of maybe you might be a subject of it. I don't want to speak for Gia, but why don't you? You you pissed. <laughs> wow. Like I told y'all, she came with me and Gia hard. She wanted to fuck with me and Gia. I don't know why. I don't know why she came us. Cause I'm gonna be honest with you. I think me and Gia videos have been pretty balanced. Have been been pretty fair to the whole family, the whole family. But you want to fuck with Gia? Ah, whoo we? You, you, look, she got way more views and subscribers than I do. Wow. The freaking blood relation of those kids to Michael should matter. I believe that they are his biological children. You don't, but the simple fact that you would get on this video and support this freaking asshole is absolutely pathetic. Do your research. Goodbye, and have a terrible night. Y'all see what I mean? See what I mean? Now, I still could go hard on a bang, but I'm going to let you know this right now, brothers and sisters. <laughs> wow. Oh boy. Sorry about the length of the video, but I just wanted y'all to hear this and get y'all want I want y'all to hear everything so nobody can say I took anything out of out of context. 